Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Odin's movie blog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well. And today, we're doing a little bit of a box office overview from this past weekend because now we've got some actual numbers coming in, and there have been a few changes. The most notable, in my opinion, is the fact that you now have the Joker coming in at number two for the weekend with a 30% drop, so it is a little bit more of a drop than what was originally expected, but still... Definitely, definitely not nearly as high as many people might have suspected it would be dropping off at this point in the game. It came in with $13.5 million, with Terminator Dark Fate coming in at $29 million. And the reason why we're talking about this is because there is a tale of two stories, two movies going on here. And the first, of course, is Joker. Joker is at $933 million now at this point in time. That is truly incredible. It is on pace to potentially pass the billion-dollar mark by this weekend, I suspected that it would at least take two weeks, but if it is indeed going to continue to make around a million dollars a day, which seems to be the case at this point in time, as tickets are still selling pretty well, then you're looking at a film that will get close to $950 million when you take into account the foreign numbers by this weekend. And I think $50 million for this film would actually be pretty easy if it has another 30% drop or so, because then it would make another $10 million or so here domestically while continuing to perform pretty well overseas. The other movie, on the other hand, is really a tale of woe, a tale of sadness. And according to one person on Twitter who I recently tagged because they tagged uh, my boy Matthew Kadish in, who did a great job, as always, breaking down why Terminator Dark Fate is a terrible film from an objective standpoint and why films like it are doing so poorly at the box office, they said at one point, and I quote, oh, it's doing, it, China is going to save it and its numbers aren't that bad. What I think is hilarious is that it's ignoring the fact that even mainstream media outlets like Variety are talking about how this film, Dark Fate, is set to lose, get this, close to $100 million. You heard that right, close to $100 million. Keep in mind also, as I mentioned in the previous videos, that we're now moving into a streaming war, where now you have so many studios that are picking up these movies, and they're picking them up because they already own them. And if a film like this, which of course is mostly owned by Paramount, but looks like it may have had some conjunction with Fox, Disney runs Fox at, at some point in time in distribution, it seems to indicate that this film probably won't be sold for that much to be put on a streaming service, which means it's not going to really make much of its money back. Especially when you look at the Blu-ray sales and DVD sales, the last film didn't really make that much money. In fact, when you look at the overall financials of this film, it only made $26.3 $26 million in sales on DVD and Blu-ray. That's abysmal. Keep in mind that Captain Marvel has made over... Uh, has has sold well over 100 million copies, $100 million worth of copies in its overall uh, marketing. So this is, again, pretty, pretty bad. And it looks like Terminator Dark Fate is probably not going to do that much better. But to me, the real key point to all of this is China. And what I want to talk about today is how this film is comparing to the last Gen Terminator film that came out, Terminator Genesis. So Terminator Genesis actually had a worse opening weekend. When it first came out domestically, it came out to a whopping $27 million. Now, Keep in mind, it was ranked number three that weekend. It came out July of 2015. It had competition, and yet it still made $27 million. The total gross ended up being $42.4 million. By the end of its run, it had a weekend, or rather, by the end of its run, it had a gross of $89.7 million here in the United States, $342 million overseas. Compare that to the current situation going on, and we see that this film has made $29 million versus 94.6. Now, those numbers will indeed go up for a total of $123 million. But the big number, as I said before, again, with the big number being 29 versus 27, only a difference between about $20 million. And if you were to adjust Genesis for inflation, I bet you that you would find that the numbers are actually almost identical for opening. So it hasn't improved upon its audience. It hasn't grown as a result of this more diverse casting, which is what they were trying to sell this movie on. But even worse is when you look to China. China is said to have been by this one random person on Twitter, oh, it's going to be the movie's saving grace. And it only made $20.5 million in China. The reason why that is important is because when you look at what it made in China for Terminator Genesis, it totaled $105 million. I don't think anyone in the right mind thinks that it's even coming close to that number, especially when you take into account that the film made $24.4 million in China back in 2014, meaning 2015, meaning that Genesis outperformed Dark Fate in China. Now, how can you tell me that Dark Fate's going to be saved by China when even that number wasn't that impressive for China back in 2015, and this film is doing worse? Please explain it to me. I'll wait.
but you don't have any explanation. So at the end of the day, I just think it's truly amazing that we have all of this going on right now in the climate that we're in, in the age of cinema that we're in, where we're getting countless numbers of reboots and remakes and prequels and sequels and so many of them no fans are asking for. And this is a great example of a franchise that really has left the fan base behind. And guess what? The fan base is not following you anymore. This is the fan base speaking up very loudly and very clearly that we are tired of this garbage. We are tired of it. If you want to continue to send the message, do the same thing when Charlie's Angels comes out. Why is it that we're having another Charlie's Angels movie and now it's all going to be about, oh, we got to push the feminist agenda, which is something that most people aren't asking for. The only way that we're going to get the message across is if we do this, we stay home, we hold on to our tickets, we hold on to our money, and we tell them we no longer will stand by and accept this garbage that you send our way, whether it's woke or not, mind you. I mean, in this case, we have obviously some political ramifications, but even in general, even if film is not political, we need to start demanding more from these studios. We need to start demanding more from those making movies and say, you cannot just slap on the name of any movie title that you want and expect that fan base to show up. You actually have to prove yourself. You actually have to give us a good product that's worth spending our hard-earned money on. And that kind of message can only be sent if you have them lose money. Like Terminator Dark Fate will definitely lose money. If you think Terminator Dark Fate making less in China making just about the same opening weekend, and I guarantee you the drop-off is going to be quite spectacular, seeing that these films came out at different times of the year in different environments. If you honestly think this film is just going to have legs spring up out of nowhere, and it's going to do incredibly well, and it's going to come in at number two, a strong number two next weekend, and it's only going to have a 40% drop, I'm sorry, but you're just not basing yourself in reality anymore. I will go by trends, I will go by statistics, I will go by history, because history often repeats itself. And hopefully we can teach the lesson to Hollywood that those that don't learn from history are often doomed to repeat it. Go ahead and make your Ghostbusters 2016s. Make your Terminator Dark Fates. Make your Star Wars. Make all of the films that you want. But hopefully let us now say, hey, we have the power. We have the ability to affect whether or not the films make money or not. Because if you and your friends and your friends' friends and your friends' 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 friends all decide to stay home, that becomes hundreds, thousands, and eventually millions of dollars of lost product, of lost fandom. If they're going to go ahead and say, we don't need you anymore, we're making these movies for a new generation. Every time you hear that language, anytime anyone says, we're making this for a new generation, you should know exactly what that means. Because it's exactly what we got here. It's exactly what we're getting with all of these new films coming out, with all of the sequels, with all of the remakes. And it's time for us to say, screw you, we're done. So anyway, let me know thoughts about this in the comment section below, especially with China's numbers. Again, actually comparing it to what it was. Again, $20.5 million opening here versus Genesis's uh, 20 let me try and get this uh, right again. $24 million, I believe, is what it was. Yeah, $24.4 million, or 24.5 when you round up. Night and day, really. You see that there's, you know, people say, oh, it's only $5 million. Yeah, but when you're looking at this market and you're saying that that's a $5 million difference, that's enough to make the film lose money. Keep in mind that $432 million was not really a whole lot of money that this, made, that this film made in profit. And that's assuming that it shows up elsewhere. But if you compare this to other markets too, like let's try and see if there is even a comparison to be made here. In the UK, it made $3.6 million compared to the opening weekend for this film, which was 5.9. So it's made less. In two of the largest markets, it has made less. In South Korea, let's see, do we have numbers for Dark Fate in South Korea? In South Korea, we don't have those numbers yet. But I can guarantee you that we're seeing, if we're seeing drop-offs in those areas, we'll probably see it in others. So Australia brought in $2.2 million in its opening weekend. Compare that to Gen Terminator Genesis. Terminator Genesis brought in $3.6 million. So as you can see, there is a trend here. And that trend says that this film is making less in every area of the world. This film is making less in every single country in the foreign market. And it will probably end up making less here as well especially in the fact that you're comparing it to two different times of the year in these films coming out and also two different types of agendas behind it. 
We'd love to hear your thoughts about this and all those things talked about in the comment section below. If that's the video, smash that like button, give me a subscribe, it helps me out a lot. You are all amazing and beautiful people. If you like this box office content, please let me know. I know that I've been very box office heavy the last few days, but I've also seen a lot of crazy growth with the channel too. So for all of my new subscribers, thank you so much for becoming a part of the channel. Please let your voice be heard in the comment section. Let me know the kind of stuff that you want to see on the channel. And please make sure you join us for our live streams every Tuesday and Saturday. Uh, we talk about movie news, we talk about box office, we talk about all these things, and we have a good time while we're doing it, hopefully. Uh, anyway, um, I do no longer have a car for the moment because I'm having some brake issues, so I will be trying to pick up. I know that some people have been sending me some stuff. I'll try and hopefully get that before tomorrow's stream, but just know that I've been having car issues, and so I have not been, having, I have not ha been able to stop by the post office. Um, but for for anyone that did win the most recent giveaway, I have the movies to give away right here. I'm going to be printing out your stuff probably sometime today, and hopefully we'll be dropping this off sometime in the next couple of days when I actually have a chance to go to the post office. But anyway, you guys are freaking awesome. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day, and as always, God bless.